channel today's vlog is gonna be about getting a new crate for the puppy the puppy's turning into a bit of a dog so uh, it's getting difficult and difficult to contain the puppy at times inside the cage especially when we have to go out and do grocery shopping or something uh, we can't let her out because she is uh, too young to be out plus it's too hot all the time outside hey baby uh, the puppy there is especially very naughty she cannot be contained within the cage anymore we fear that she is going to pretty soon break out of it so we have decided finally to get her a new cage we're looking for two types of cages it's either going to be a stainless steel cage or a bit bigger slightly sturdier collapsible cage so we're gonna go to the SM mall and see how it pans out today because we need rice we went through 25 kgs of rice like it's nothing that we Oi. went through 5 kgs of rice that was like it's nothing a month or two. and uh, when was the last time we put, when our last war vlog February. no our last vlog was about two weeks ago or less than that and that we was put, five kgs. and that was 5 kgs we went through five we went through 5 kgs of rice in less than two weeks of time and it's just the two of us the dog doesn't even eat that much rice barely eats any rice like one cup of rice in a week or so anyways uh, i'm gonna try and record something in the mall and see it's not a korean uh, glamour vlog my <laughs> i love you so much anyway uh, i'm gonna record something in the mall uh, at, the, at the pet shop and see if i can show you the different kind of cages ciao Hey, it's well, we are heading to SM Molino today. The last time I made a vlog, we went to Vista Mall. It's pretty close to our place. But today, uh, as I mentioned just slightly earlier, we have to purchase a crate for her or like a cage where we can leave her when we're not at home. We just left her at home alone after a very, very long time. And she is barking non-stop. Obviously, we've had to put... This is the cage, right? Oh, yes, sir. This one and that one? Yes, sir. Do you have one of these? Steel cage? Yes, sir. Isn't it too big for her paws? No, it's okay. The, the bottom, I mean... On the ground level, it's okay. Her paws are big. Her paws are actually kind of big. She'll fit right in. But she can't break through this. We can assemble this at home. They have an open one. We can get this one later on for traveling, but later on when I have a job, the big one. This is more like an outdoor cage. We're going to get this outdoor cage for her but for inside purposes. This is a section that robs us every time. Costliest food ever. puppy that's a big ass cage
every time we leave the house we spend anywhere between three to seven to eight thousand on this dog and how much did we just spend baby we just spent five thousand four and a half thousand worth of cage and we've purchased a third leash for her uh, a different food again she already has around four kgs of food at home one in three kg pack and one in one and a half kg pack she isn't eating as much and we just purchased one kg worth of food more this dog is expensive for an aspen at least hell it's even as expensive as for a rottweiler standard which i really wanted <laughs> now we gotta go buy some rice see ya are my favorite biscuits in Philippines because these are the only ones that you can have with tea how many are you buying? 4 packs? so this is the easy check out where if you have a small basket like that green basket they mean this not a big cart you can check it out but we've been standing here for about 30 minutes. I guess they don't have a full capacity crew working on weekdays. No, she. <laughs> she was barking a lot before we leave the house. Before we left, so I don't know. I don't. I don't like it that she's anxious. Who got your Baba coffee? Got your Baba tea? Yeah. Show me a bubble tea. Which one did we get? Matcha. Green tea matcha? Yeah. This is nice with the bubble, the tapioca. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's go home. Sit, 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 sit. 